these positions are going to give you more damage every single game and hopefully you enjoy. The first position is on Ruenberg on the southern spawn which is essentially a position that you can push up to with pretty much anything that has any level of speed and even some of the heavies are going to be able to make it here and you can get side shots on all of the tanks that are going to be pushing on the eastern side of the map and it gives you easy damage especially if you're using an auto loader this is one of the best spots to get easily 1000 damage if you're looking at tier 8s and above auto loaders but if you spawn on the opposite side you can actually use a position to counter the light tanks that push aggressively on the eastern side of the outskirts of the city to get into the center and you can actually come up to this position right here to get free damage on people that push into the town from the east to west on the southern spawn all you have to do is push to this position and then pre-aim at the cross and essentially it's just free damage now the next position is on glacier and this is the middle of the map push with a fast medium or light tank that is going to give you not only the potential to get damage but also spot for your team which could give you some assistance at the beginning of the game and essentially all you have to do is come to this rock right here you're going to spot opponents you're going to be able to get side shots you just have to be very careful that you do move from this position early uh, after you've managed to get the damage on the cross because people will start to counter you when they get into a position on their spawn The next location is actually on Paris and this is the typical bush that you can push over and it gives you the ability to remain undetected. You pull behind the bush, just make sure that you push it down in this direction and not the opposite direction, otherwise the spot becomes completely useless and you're going to get spotted every single time. And in fact, if you use the bush in the right way, you can actually remain undetected for the entire time and even when you're firing, sometimes you can remain undetected. Just be very careful of people blind firing it as it is. It is a very obvious position. The next position is then on Abbey and this is actually a really good one for medium tanks and especially autoloaders. If you were using something like a TVP this is a brilliant place to come at the beginning of the game or alternatively if you're playing a light tank on this map it can be annoying for you to actually get much damage and of course because it is predominantly a medium slash heavy tank map and of course tank destroyers with a little bit of armor you can essentially move into this position right here and you can spot the people that are going to be pushing into the center of Abbey and you can get some side shots really easily often they will not actually be looking your way because it's not worth it for them to look your way since they're going to expose their turrets to everyone that is camping in your spawn and they're going to get shots onto them as well as well as the fact that when you do this you can actually spot for your team and potentially get a little bit of spotting damage as well the next position is on highway and this is a bush at the beginning of the map and you can essentially move up to this bush and effectively blind fire the enemy's bush and blind fire some of the bushes on the enemy's side just make sure that you pull back behind the bush when you do fire but you have to be careful of the light tanks that are going to push on your left since they can spot you and of course if you get a yoloing light tank that moves into the center here where the main like town is in the center of the map then you can make sure that you don't get uh, spotted if you make sure that you pull back behind the bush when they start to yolo and of course you can always Always come behind the building to avoid any of the damage if you think that it's getting a little bit risky. The penultimate position in this video is of course on Lakeville and this is the mid spot for crosses and then relocate because of course this position is good to be able to spot the enemy team that are going to be pushing into the town you can often see when bushes get knocked over because people that don't realize that the enemy team actually might have a brain for once you can actually pre-aim where the typical spotting locations are and of course where you think that the enemy team are going to move through there's a load of buildings that are typically where people have to cross through and of course you can get some easy shots but the key thing about this spot is that you don't stay here during the later stages or any of the mid game to be honest with you because 
because it gets less and less effective it's just very good for the beginning and of course you can then reposition using the back of the map to get into the town or alternatively go to the actual hill on the left hand side of the map the final position is a position where both you can get damage if you're fighting against someone in this location as well as if you are actually playing in this position because it's effectively you can blind fire the enemy building on the opposite side of the map and this is a very common place for a lot of the TDs in the game to actually go and it's very very easy to get a load of blind fires from this location and essentially even if you were playing a medium and you're not using this location you can do the exact same thing and just pre-aim the enemy uh, position or the enemy building and then just shoot to the left or the right hand side of the building making sure to try and make sure that you're not hitting the actual building itself and that's going to give you at least a few shells of damage during the game and if you do manage to have a light tank that knows what they're doing and they don't just YOLO in at the beginning of the game on low evokes as I'm sure many of you actually know about um, you can actually manage to find opponents who do actually get spotted and this is becomes even better because you can go for the tracking shots you can manage to pen a hundred percent and that means that you're just going to get even more damage so hopefully this video is good for you if you're interested in finding out actual spotting positions in the game then check out this video on screen right now subscribe for more and like the video if you did